Sometimes you have to wonder whether your pets find Christmas as amusing as we do. But given how they tend to attack Christmas trees after we put them up, it's a safe bet they're true Grinches covered in fur. So, if your pet would rather wreck your Christmas tree rather than lay under it and admire the twinkling lights, then you've got a Christmas hater in your midst. So how do you keep your tree from falling into the wrong paws? Try doing what these homeowners did. They really went to extreme lengths to protect their trees from their pets. Number 1. The only way to save Christmas is to send your tri flying through a tier in time and space. These owners clearly outfoxed the fox by cutting their tree in half and suspending it from the ceiling. Not only did it keep their pet from wrecking their tree, but it made a lovely sci-fi theme decoration in their home. Number 2. These pet owners know that the only way to keep their trees safe this year is through fear. For most pets, just seeing you take out your vacuum cleaner scares them to death. So do what these folks did and place two Hoover vacuum cleaners next to your tree, and they'll never lay their paws on your tree again. Number 3. Sometimes you just have to bear it all to give your cat a challenge they can't possibly beat. This poor kitty's not happy, and can you blame it? Those three ornaments are taunting him from way up high. But keep your eyes peeled, because while you sleep, it's scheming on a way to reach those ornaments. Number 4. It's really difficult to get to a Christmas tree if it's encased in a glass and wooden cabinet. These homeowners managed to keep their Christmas tree looking aesthetically pleasing around the house, while creating a barrier of wood and glass that no pet can penetrate. Sorry, kitties and pooches, better luck next time. Number 5. The best way to turn enemy of the holidays into a friend is by getting them into the spirit of things. By giving this kitty its very own Santa suit, its little heart was so overwhelmed by the spirit of Christmas that it only damaged a few tiny branches. Besides, napping under the tree is a lot easier than wrecking it. Number 6. If you've tried everything and you can't put up a tree, then try hanging your ornaments instead. For kitties, ornaments are just another excuse to knock things down with their paws. But it's not quite so easy if you hang a bunch of ornaments from the ceiling in the form of a Christmas tree. And Kitty will just have to strain his neck all through December. Number 7. These people had a fantastic idea when they decided to hang their tree from their ceiling fan. It's festive and it'll keep your tree and its ornaments safe from your cat's claws. The only ornament that may be in potential danger is that hanging star on the tip. And we have no doubt that your cat will find a way to get up there. Number 8. Sometimes you have to think inside the box instead of outside in order to save your tree. This cagey idea prevented these homeowners from cancelling Christmas. But boy are they going to have a seriously ticked off cat meowing bah humbug all season long. Seriously, you probably don't want to get anywhere near your cat right now. Number 9. Dogs can be just as hazardous to Christmas trees as cats can be, but they shouldn't be caged for that. Instead of locking your pooch up in a kennel, you can put your lovely, overly decorated Christmas tree behind bars. Sure, the tree is probably thinking, this is so not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. But the dog is probably thinking the same thing. Number 10. Nothing says, stay away like the thread of pain, which is why a cactus tree is perfect for Christmas. Instead of buying a conventional pine tree, or a plastic one, get a cactus tree, preferably one with lots of thorns.
at most, it will deter your pet to stay away with a tiny jab that won't cause any permanent damage to them or your holidays. Number 11. Vacuum cleaners are so not a pet's best friend, which is why this solution is positively awesome. Curiosity might be a cat's worst flaw, but they're not dumb either. So, add a mini tree to the top of a vacuum cleaner. Your pet might be tempted, but fear will keep it from destroying your Christmas tree. Number 12. If you're fortunate enough to have to fluffy, and plus-sized kitties, then try this solution. Just cut off a couple of branches from your trees. No need to leave your whole tree totally branchless. Just a few branches will do. Your obese cats will probably swing their paws once or twice and then give up. Number 13. If all else fails, just wrap up your fully decorated Christmas tree up in saran wrap this holiday. Not only are you keeping your pets from tearing your tree to shreds, but you're also keeping your ornaments in the same place. That means that after Christmas is over, you can take it back to the basement as is, and leave it like that until next year. Number 14. Add a wall around your humongous Christmas tree to keep your pets as far away as possible. The best way to teach your pets that Christmas trees are lovely to admire from afar is by using a metal gate like this one. Sure, your dog might be a little sad, but they'll get over it. Just throw them a doggy treat. Number 15. Again, the best way to keep your tree out of kitty's reach is to take away its ability to climb up. Remove the branches on over half of the tree. But make sure to leave enough on top so you can decorate. Oh, and whatever you do, don't place the tree near furniture. Cats are slick. They'll find a way to get up there. Number 16. If you're worried about your garland and ornaments getting clawed out of your tree, try this. Only decorate the top half of your tree. The bottom part will look so dull and uninteresting that your pet will probably ignore it, or go to sleep under the tree. But just in case, don't put the gifts there until the last minute or your pet might pee on them. Number 17. Instead of buying a tree, you can just set your tree up on the wall, but only some of it. Tear the tree branches and sort of shape a Christmas tree onto a wall. It'll look like one of those moss walls but with Christmas lights. It won't be quite as pretty, but that's good because your kitty won't want to climb it either. Number 18. If you want to keep your cat away from the Christmas tree, just drape the darn thing all the way. You can set it up, and put your ornaments, and garland all around it. But if you want a surefire way of keeping your cat away from it, try draping it. Just don't expect any cuddling or purring from your kitty until next year. Number 19. Most beautiful things in museums and amusement parks are placed behind a cage for a good reason. You certainly don't want your pets ruining your white Christmas this year. Think about how upset your kids will be. So instead, place this metal gate around the tree, and add a few holiday-themed ribbons so it doesn't look so gaudy. Number 20. Turn your holidays upside down before your pet does by planting your tree on the ceiling. It might seem extreme, but it will keep even the agilist pet from jumping on your Christmas tree. Plus, you can show everyone on social media what a rebel you are with an upside down tree in your home. Number 21. Some of the best trees are those that are 2D, especially when you've got pets lurking in your home. Most animals don't have a finer appreciation for art the way humans do. So, it's likely that they won't even bother looking at your Christmas tree if it's just picture perfect behind an art frame. But hopefully Kitty won't claw it to pieces.
Number 22. Unfortunately, you have to know how to pick your battles, so in this case, glam your chandeliers. You have to accept that no matter what you do, your pet will destroy your tree. So why not give up on the notion of a Christmas tree, and accessorize your chandelier with holiday ornaments? They'll be so high that not even Kitty can reach. Number 23. Hang a makeshift tree from the ceiling, and your pet won't even know that you have one at home. Just look at this pooch who is totally bewildered by the fact that its owner hasn't put up a Christmas tree. We're guessing he's not big on looking up all the time. But you might want to tell the depressed little girl on the left that Christmas isn't cancelled. Number 24. This poor kitty is looking up at that tree the way we'd look up at a shooting star in the sky. For all intents and purposes, that tree might as well be a comet, because it's unreachable to kitty, not matter how many times it tries jumping off the couch. But we can only imagine what scheme it's coming up with to get to the tree. Number 25. Finally, the best way to keep your Christmas tree safe is to take the holiday spirit outdoors. Your cat won't be able to wreck your tree and everything under it if the tree is outside your apartment's balcony. Sure, it'll be torture for your cat to be so close without being able to get to it, but at least your tree will be safe. <laughs>